as you get older, um, the job's a physical job, and it's not even, it's not even like, like, you know, it's not like working out or, but, you know, like if you're doing a lot of flooring or tiling and stuff like that, you spend a lot of time uh, kneeling and, you know, even with good knee pads and stuff like that, I don't think our knees were designed to be knelt on <laughs> and they wear out quickly. Like both my knees are finished. Uh, and, you know, it's the time for a knee replacement is going to be sooner than later. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that's going to be all about when the time comes, but I know that there's a long period of time to recover like once you've had knee recovery and like knee replacement before you can actually work doing the same type of work again can i ask you a general question sure like my why do you think a public opinion of people who work trade jobs has lowered over the years i have friends whose kids struggle in school and you know and their answer to that is to go into the trades and and uh, but people people think the trades. Um, I mean, there are basic jobs in the trades like laborers, so where you don't need to be all that smart and stuff like that. And, um, but if you're if you're you know going to put together a house and build a complex roof and and build a set of stairs that that meet code and and uh you know all that stuff takes quite a bit of calculation and and uh quite a bit of knowledge um but um, people mostly just view construction guys as you know laborers um i i know from personal experience that if i go into a place a store for example, say I was uh, one year I was looking for a gift for your mom and uh, for my wife, and um, I was I went in there dressed in my work clothes, and and the staff in the store ignored me. They wouldn't even look at me. So, but I saw something that I wanted to get, and uh, I went in the next day dressed in my street clothes, and I got all the attention I needed right away as soon as I walked in the door. It's a bizarre thing, but I've noticed it over and over again. The only place you get treated with respect if you're wearing your, you know, your work clothes is in the lumber yard. Everywhere else, you're more or less ignored unless it's people you actually know. You know? It's funny, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Not so funny. About the good reputation. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, um, Do good work at a good price. Tell as you know, whatever you say you're going to do, you're going to you do. <laughs> um, try not to surprise people. Um, I mean, in renovations, there are always surprises, uh, things that you don't foresee. But for the most part, people are understanding when you come across something that you could, you know, you didn't know was there beforehand. Um, the big thing is to do good work, treat people with respect, um, uh, and be honest and upfront with people. In our part of the world, we don't build houses to last. <laughs> you know, like uh, you, know, you go to Europe, uh, most of the buildings are made out of masonry and they will be in a family for generations. Uh, you know, some of those masonry buildings and some of the older cities have been around for hundreds of years and like several hundred years and uh, and still have shown very little sign of deterioration. Um, they were put together by skilled uh, masons and tradespeople, whether it was, and, uh, and with a great attention to detail and, and they would, those buildings would last, you know, literally generations.
Um, you know, you don't see too many houses. Like, there's a big renovation industry in North America, and part of the the, the renovation industry is the buildings actually need it. They're, they fall, you know, like everything literally falls apart after 30, 40 years and needs to be redone. Uh, you know, very rarely do we have a roof that lasts more than, you know, 15, 20 years. Uh, you know, they use asphalt shingles and in Europe they use, uh, you know, they use clay tiles, which can literally last four or 500 years. <laughs> um, this house is a little bit, uh, on the framing side, it's code plus. So uh, there's a there's a building code, and code plus means you've taken steps to make it better than the code. Um, but still, I have asphalt shingles. I I use the best ones available. Um, they are technically guaranteed for life, but I expect they'll be done in 25 years. Um, at that point, I would probably, if I'm still around, put a metal roof on which would be good for about 70, 80 years.